since feminism and social justice wants to subvert gaming so much with its ideology, now it's telling the gamers and the game creators to mature or grow up in what they play and what they create. Yup, these are the same people who have trigger warnings, safe spaces, news speaks in their everyday diet. And all they can offer are games that needs to have feminism, diversity, and their most favorite word, equality. Sure, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Video games are catered mostly to children in its early days based on gameplay and game development was simpler back then. Easier for the set audience to digest and enjoy, but as technology moves on, so as the medium. We went from simple platformers and shooters to having games that are deeper, for example, the role-playing game genre. In my own gaming experience, particularly playing Japanese console RPGs, there are things in those games that for me back then and still is today deep and meaningful than I've ever seen. Prostitution to sustain the lives of the people you care for, religious tyranny to keep things in order, turning things a new leaf by not forgetting the past but by moving forward and redeeming yourself by doing the necessary right things, not for yourself but for the sake of others. A few examples? Yes, but it's enough to make my points clear. That video games like classical songs about heroic crimes, tribulations, and timeless novels can and will always compel the hearts and minds of the people who plays them. Their storytelling ain't child's play like those dumbed down children's stories that parents buy for their children in, the, in this modern age. So before you tell me as a gamer and tell the gaming industry to grow up, particularly youth, social justice warriors, and feminists alike, consider this. Who are the group of people who uses insults like piss babies, goober gobbers, and gators as if we were still in the third grade? Do you really think that you have the authority to tell me that I need to grow up? So as the medium that I love? <laughs> you have no power here. So to all social justice warriors and feminists, here's my parting words for you, especially just for you.